Yo, what is good YouTube? We are back with another tabletop matchup. This video, we have Palkia V-Star versus Mew V-Max. A really good, close matchup in my opinion. I'm starting off with a mulligan. I am playing the Mew V-Max and my opponent is playing Palkia. He is playing my list as he is a relatively new player and he was joining us from Montreal because he's a friend of another local player, Matt. So I decided why not get him on the action, let him play Palkia V-Star, and I play Mew. I thought it was going to be a quick, easy game W for me, the Mew VMAX player. But as you will see through this matchup, it's quite the opposite as he is getting a bit of help from my friend Matt. But he played one card that kind of just messed me up for the whole game. So I take another mulligan, two mulligans in a row while playing Mew not really the best if i'm going to be honest with you mew does not like to take mulligans because they don't want to give your opponent any cards and we do play a lot of basic pokemon so i don't see why a mew player would mulligan this many times but sometimes it happens i got a starting pokemon finally my opponent the palkia v-star player is going to take two mulligans and i'm gonna flip over mew I'm trying to see who's going first right now. I think it's the Palkia. Yes, it is the Palkia V-Star player. He's going first. I wanted to go second because I wanted to knock out a Palkia V on my first turn going second because I think that's the way you win this matchup pretty easily, which if you see my hand, it's going pretty well. I have two battle VIP passes in hand. I have so much heat for next turn. But unfortunately, my opponent did play a Path to the Peak. Now, my Palkia V-Star list only plays one Path to the Peak. The deck profile on that on that list, the Palkia V-Star list, will be coming soon. But I only play the one Path to the Peak, and he managed to get it in his opening hand. And unfortunately, this Path to the Peak really messed me up since I have no Counter Stadium in hand. So I'm kind of praying off the top deck to get a Stadium or else... It's not looking good for me. I have a good strong setup, but I won't be able to draw cards with Genesect. So I'm going to play double battle VIP pass. Really good start for Mew. I'm getting two Genesects, one Meloetta, one Mew. I'm going to bench the other Genesect, and I had the Alessa Sparkle in hand. He's just reading it because it's a different artwork than what he's used to. I realized I'm not getting an attack off this turn as I have no way to get a counter stadium. So I'm going to protect those fusion strike energies on the Genesect Vs. Just so when he knocks out my Muse, the fusion strike energies stay in play. This is how I'm planning on fighting Palkia V-Stars in general. If I get my uh, fusion strike energies on my Genesects, anything on other than the Mew, I can att attach double turbo to a Mew VMAX with a choice belt and I can just consistently knock out Palkia V-Stars and other V-Stars in general turn after turn after turn while protecting my energies because if they take a knockout on a Genesect with a Fusion Strike energy they are not taking out a Mew and then my Mew can attack next turn undamaged. So he's just getting a bit of coaching from Matt as he is like I said a new player but this Path of the Peak is definitely putting in work against my uh, Mew VMAX deck. So he's just thinking of what he wants to do, how he wants to go about doing this. Just learning how to sequence, which is I'm okay with. Since he's a new player, it's always good to teach new players how to sequence stuff, how to play properly. Because if your local meta is all good players and you lose to only good players, that is a lot better than winning against bad players. In my opinion, that's how I look at it. He's going to grab a Capacious Bucket, but he has to grab the Drizzile first. Then he's going to grab another Drizzile. Because he played two Evolution Incense. For a Quick Ball, he's going to grab himself a Quick Ball. As you can see, Matthew is just helping him uh, get cards just to uh, increase the state of play. So I'm looking at my hand and I'm just in top deck mode. I need a top deck 
stadium, maybe a trekking shoes to get a stadium, or Cramomatic to maybe flip heads and get a stadium. But I'm purely in top deck mode. It's not going good. It's not looking good for your boy. He's gonna Melanie, draw three cards off the Melanie. He's going to attach per turn, and he's obviously going to do enough damage to knock out the Meloetta, as Meloetta only has 60, uh, not 60, 90 HP. So he can just easily one-shot it. He's going to play another level ball. Grab himself a Sobble, just for next turn, just to fill out his board state, which is perfectly good on his end, since he is most definitely in control this matchup, as I'm... I'm in top deck mode. If I don't get anything good, I'm uh, I might be over. I might be over. We will see what I get off the top deck. So he knocks up the Meloetta. He takes a prize card. I promote the Mew. Look at my hand. Realize uh, it's not a stadium. Quick ball the battle VIP pass. To get another basic Pokemon. Just to thin my deck a bit. So I can um, hopefully top deck a stadium next turn. So I grab another Mew V. I'm just gonna shuffle up and I think here's where I pass because I have nothing else going on. Yeah, I pass. No, no stadium for me. I'm hoping next turn maybe it's another stadium. And cause I think I can still come back from this. I think I can still come back from this if I top deck a stadium. So he's just thinking what he wants to do. I believe he takes a really short turn here as he just needs to really attach and attack. He's going to evolve into the quick shooting Inteleon. He's going to evolve a Drizzile and he's going to search for a card, which is Evolution Incense, for another Palkia V Star, which is a great play on his end just to set up another Palkia V Star as I can. Gust up the Pelkey V and knock it out pretty easily in my next turn if I have a stadium so I can draw cards. It's really unfortunate how Mew just kind of loses sometimes to Path of the Peak. I might be putting in a Pumpkaboo in the list. I'm not too sure as I'm not finalized on my Mew V Max list. So he takes a knockout. I get a Trekking Shoes. And I realize it's nothing good. I can't come back from this. So I just scoop up. Good game to him. The path of the peak worked. And I also prized two stadiums that game.